Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Luke, AKA CT Flips, and I'm a full-time reseller. And today's video is going to be all about this clothing rack behind me. I paid $1,000 for this clothing rack, and we are gonna get into exactly why I paid that and all the items inside. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, before we get into the clothes, the clothing haul, we are going to talk a little bit about how I got these clothes and how much I paid for each individual item. I got these clothes from my buddy Brandon. We share an office. You guys hear his name all the time. And sometimes he has an overflow of inventory. So he'll offload some of the stuff to me. I've been really wanted to learn clothing for a while now. I've been watching a lot of Paul Cantu and he does a lot of clothing. I just want to learn the niche. It seems fun. It seems interesting when going out in the field and finding like single stitch t-shirts from the 90s and flipping them for $130 when you pay pennies for them. Ever since I got the Kurt Cobain 1998 single stitch t-shirt at the thrift store and paid $5 for it and sold it so quick for $130, I've wanted to dig deeper into clothing. So I've been asking him, can I buy that clothing rack off of you? I know you don't want to deal with the clothing. I know you don't want to measure it. I know you don't want, you don't want to photograph it. So let me buy it off of you. So uh, he finally gave in and he sold it to me for $1,000. Funny story how he got it. He actually bought a storage unit full of clothing this is like the last bit of it and um, it was all really good stuff so there are 76 pieces here in this rolling clothing rack so I got the, the rolling clothing rack and these two half mannequins you guys probably can't see them but they are not full body they're just half so the shirts and jackets and stuff like that just go on to the mannequin when photographing them and this rolling rack is on wheels so it moves around and I just fit it in between my other shelves here at the office. This is my office, guys. I know I haven't recorded here in a while, but uh, now you guys get to see it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my office. Go back to my videos. There is a welcome to my office video. So definitely check that out if you have not seen the entire office. A lot has changed here. So like I said, guys, 76 pieces here. I paid $1,000. If you do the math, I paid about $13 a piece for each item. And there's a lot of good stuff here. So let's start to break it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys this side of the rack first and then that side of the rack next all right so we're gonna start off pretty hot right now first thing we got is this Christian Dior men's suit jacket the way you can tell that that this is real is from the actual Christian Dior tag and there is a tailoring tag in there as well so this came from uh, somewhere that they tailor suits for for people who are going to weddings and stuff like that so I did know it was real in really good condition. Winter is coming to an end, but I do have a lot of jackets in this haul. So I'm just gonna uh, run through majority of them now. Got this really nice Columbia jacket, size medium. And I'm pretty sure it's a woman's jacket. It's got a nice hood on it. Overall, really, really good condition. Might give this to my girlfriend as a Christmas present. <laughs> I just want to put it out there guys I have about 14 of these items listed so far 14 out of 76 uh, and I have a few watchers on a few of these items I have a feeling that I'm gonna at least triple up on this buy and I'm super excited because it was one of my buddies he got his money and I'm getting my money it's a win-win situation and by the way guys if you are interested in any of these clothes they will be on my eBay store in the, in the upcoming weeks I want to say two to three weeks everything will be listed in my eBay store which will be linked down below and the next item is also a jacket a men's jacket and this is a vintage jacket actually this is an Eddie Bauer jacket in really really good condition it's like a forest green color and I honestly never I've never seen like I said guys I'm not really knowledgeable in clothes which is why I bought this rack to, to grow knowledge in the field a little bit or should I say category so this is a really nice vintage Eddie Bauer it's got like a le leather tag on it um, a pull zipper and no stains, no holes, no flaws, really good condition. I should get about 70 to $80 just on this jacket. This Chevy jacket is so cool. It's got a basic front to it, not much. It's got a little decal. It's from the Chevy store Ayers. It's easy at Ayers, it says on front. Uh, the brand is Trimount and it's a size large. And my favorite part about this jacket is the back logo. 
I mean, look at the visuals. It's a beautiful jacket in really good condition. And I should get about 40 to $50 on this piece. This whole clothing rack is gonna be bolos, but this next piece is a Orvis jacket. It's like a salmon color. I already have this one listed. It's got a collar, it's got some nice buttons. Orvis is a good brand. It is vintage. Uh, there's the tag there. As you guys can see, the only stain on this one, as you guys saw, was a little stain on the tag. I should get about 70 to $80 on this one. This next one is definitely a banger. Got the Burberry trench coat right here. This thing doesn't even fit in the entire frame. It's 48 inches long. It's got, it's got the tag right here. You can tell it is authentic. It's got somebody's initials in it, and it's just an overall really nice jacket. I posted this one for $179.99. Best offer always turned on. If I had like a red carpet event, I'd definitely pull up wearing that trench coat. Another really good brand to be on the lookout for is Marmont. It is a really quality brand. They honestly just don't make clothes like this anymore. I have a few Marmont uh, items in here. The first one being a woman's jacket. It's a navy blue jacket, full zip, large. The type of jacket is 650 fill. It's goose down jacket. It's got a nice hoodie on the back of it and it's got some length to it. And I listed this one for $120 with best offer turned on. There's similar listings to this one that sold for about $90 to $100. So of course, if I get a $100 offer, I will accept. Next piece being this Harley Davidson jean denim jacket. Pretty cool piece on this one. The decal on the back is really nice. Just a simple Harley Davidson jean jacket. It's a size small. Never could go wrong with Harley Davidson. And I found a similar listing that is up for about $99. No sold comps, but there's a few watchers on it. So I listed mine at $75 and we'll run with it. Keep in mind guys, I paid $13 per item. All right, the next item is a leather jacket made by Adventure Bound. This jacket is a size extra large, full zip, leather jacket. I've seen some of these sell for upwards of 70 bucks. The next item is a Dallas Cowboys Nike windbreaker material. Really nice. Got the Nike check in the middle. Got the red Nike tag size extra large. And when you're looking at clothes, I learned that the higher the size, the better uh, people are looking for bigger sizes for vintage clothing. So this is definitely a nice piece. This should go for about 50 to $60. Also learned while I was watching resellers that focus on clothing that the Nike check being in the middle makes it a little more valuable if it was on the corner or something like that to be a little less valuable so keep that in mind this next item is a Marmot jacket as well this is a men's jacket full zip 650 fill as well so this is a goose down jacket this is a size small very lightweight should go for around 40 to 50 dollars seeing that the other Marmot with the hoodie goes for about 100 this next item me and my buddy Brandon actually got together this is an XL FL team varsity jacket. The team I believe is called Rage. So super cool jacket. Be on the lookout for XFL apparel because they no longer exist. And this jacket should bring me around 80 to hundred dollars just by itself. Next item on this clothing rack was really cool. This is probably one of my favorite pieces on the rack. It's a snap on t-shirt, full button up. As you guys can see, size extra, extra large. The visuals on this thing is just insane. If you guys do not know what Snap-on is, it's a tool brand, one of the best tool brands. I used to be into cars, so I, I definitely know. I should get about $100 on this piece. All right, guys, I guess I'm just running into my favorite pieces now. My second favorite piece on this clothing rack is easily this Eddie Bauer jacket and the patterns are just beautiful. It's a really, really nice sweater and it is limited edition. Uh, so it's, it's a collab. The Eddie Bauer collab was with this person called Elera or by not now I'm probably botching that but you guys get it I should easily get a hundred and twenty all right so this next piece is PRPS goods and company it's a 2xl it's a sweater a uh, pretty cool piece it's kind of like this tie-dye looking thing I've looked up similar comps on this piece and it brings around 45 to 50 dollars this next item really surprised me when I started to look up sold comps because actually going for around 50 to 60 bucks it's this really nice dog sweater oh it's a one size That's that's weird. <laughs> Literally says one size. Like I was, I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing with clothing. But uh, the brand is Sugar Street Heavers. If this was my style, I'd honestly rock it because it's such a quality crew neck. The next piece is a Alexander Wang 
cutoff sweater, I want to call it. It's not t-shirt material, so I can't call it a t-shirt. Alexander Wang, which is a really good brand. This is a size large. I did look up Alexander Wang. I knew it was a good brand. It was selling, so I should, who knows what I'll get for this one. Honestly, thinking about like 40 to $50. Next time I go to the gym, which will be tomorrow afternoon, I don't know, I might have to pop on the Alexander Wang. This next piece is so cool. Also, Marmot, you can never go wrong with the blue and purple. They just blend so well. Size medium. Uh, it's made in, in the USA, which is really good. And I should fetch around 40 to 50 bucks on this piece as well. So this next item is a full zip sweater, LL Bean. Still got the Savers tag on it. Next item is this LL Bean men's jacket with the leather collar. It's a size medium. This men's Harley Davidson windbreaker and is a size extra large. It's got Harley Davidson on the pull zipper, fully zip, and it's got a Harley Davidson logo on the back. Next Next item is this vintage kids LL Bean jacket. It's a size large 14 slash 16. We got another men's LL Bean jacket. It is a size extra large color is forest green full zip. Next item we got is this vintage Timberland jacket. It's yellow men's size extra large. Can never go wrong with the Timberland jacket, baby. This next sweater is a really cool piece and it is a Marlboro smoking a pack a day, baby. Really nice sweater. And you got that really nice Marlboro patch on the sleeve. Next item is a Columbia rain jacket. It is a size medium. It's men's. Got a pretty cool Columbia jacket. This is actually really heavy duty. Full zip size extra large. This one is a Omni heat. So it holds all that heat in. You got this workwear jacket. It's that pumpkin orange again with the furry neck collar right there. Keep the guys warm when they're working. The brand is Joe Boxer, still brand new with the tags. This next item is also vintage Eddie Bauer. Uh, this is a goose down jacket, a men's jacket. That tag is so cool. As you guys can see there, it's got little ducks right there. The visuals are always so cool. Shout out to Brandon. His name is Kados Collectibles on Instagram. If you want to go check out his page, he's got a lot of cool stuff. So uh, this next item is a LL Bean woman's jacket. It's got that nice leather collar right here with the khaki jacket all around. Uh, it's buttoned up as you guys can see. And I just, I don't know why the dark leather right here with the khaki jacket just so clean and as you guys can see like the inside is that it's got that Burberry look to it so it's just a really really nice jacket all right guys the next section of this video is the t-shirts and long sleeve first item starting off hot we got the Carhartt pocket tee with all the tags on it this one is a size 2x so you cannot go wrong like I said guys the bigger the size the better next is this polo Ralph Lauren button down long sleeve really really good condition size extra large men's and usually as you guys know the polo sign is like a man on a horse but this one is a dog so I'm thinking that I should get about 50 to $60 on this one just because of the logo. Got a couple soccer jerseys in this haul and the first one being this Ronaldo jersey right here. It is gray with the lime green striping. Next item is also a soccer jersey and I honestly am not even gonna try to botch the name of the team. All right, next item we got a soccer jersey, a nice polo long sleeve button down. The designs on that one is beautiful. Nice Carhartt button down. Can never go wrong with Carhartt. Another polo jacket with the collar up top. Getting into a couple Harley tees. This one is double stitch, but is vintage. All the Harley tees that I did get were vintage. Nice little Harley tee there. This one is double stitch. Another Harley tee there. That one is also double stitch. Got another Harley T there. Actually caught the back of that one. Really nice piece on that one. As you guys can see, they are from different parts of the country. Definitely cool. Can never go wrong with Harley. There's a lot of collectors out there. Uh, next item, we got this really nice. I mean, I've always liked this color. It's Patagonia. It's a really good brand. It's kids, size four, but definitely never could go wrong with Patagonia. We got a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren. Another Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve for men. Another soccer jersey, that one is Manchester United. That's a really nice jersey. Uh, got another one down there. Can never go wrong with soccer jerseys, they do sell. Got a Revolution soccer jersey there. BMW men's t-shirt, nice little vintage piece here. 
Got the guy golfing. We got another Ralph Lauren long sleeve button up. And then we got this Volvo cycling t-shirt. It's a long sleeve, that's pretty cool. This next piece is really nice. Honestly, was thinking about keeping this as a personal. It's a really heavy long sleeve, size large. It's got the Nautica sign there. Uh, we got a Fear God Essentials t-shirt, men's Carhartt pocket t-shirt. We've got the black pocket tee. Those sell for about 10 to 15 bucks each. Another brand to be on the lookout for is Barber. So this one is selling for about, honestly, like 40, 50 bucks. Uh, and the vintage ones do sell upwards of 70 to 80. Uh, so we got one there. That's the vintage piece I was talking about that goes for like 70 to 80. Crew neck from 1999. It is from Denver Broncos Super, Super Bowl. We got the John Elway Most Valuable Player. Definitely a nice crew neck. Nice and white. No stains on it. Then we got the Harley Davidson cutoff sweater. I got this posted on my eBay store for 65. There's already a watcher. I sent an offer of $59.99. Who knows if they'll accept, but definitely a cool piece. This next piece is really, really nice. Harley Davidson. We got that $19.99 right there. This one is actually brand new with tags. So dead stock and it is single stitch. And it's got a nice little design on the background as well. Got that Warwick, Rhode Island on the back. Uh, we got the same exact t-shirt in purple. This one is not brand new with the tags. And this one is double stitch. And it's got the same decal on the back of the t-shirt. It is vintage though. It's got the date 1996 up front. Then we got a 1991 Harley Davidson Cycles Harley Owners Group Club t-shirt. This one is single stitch as well and has a really cool design on the back. And this is probably one of my favorite Harley tees that I did get from this haul. It's Follow the Spirit. It's got the bald eagle up front. Honestly, wish it was a 3D emblem because I'd get a lot more money for it, but it's not. This one is single stitch and the back of the t-shirt is actually really nice as well. That one's from Massachusetts. Then we got a uh, CC Filson Company, Seattle, made in Hong Kong button up. That's a good brand to be on the lookout for. That one sells for about 70 to 80 bucks as well. And then last but not least, guys, we got that Nike Dry Fit messy jersey to end off all the clothes. And that is the clothing rack full of grails, guys. All right, guys, I am back home and I am almost finishing editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little different from all my other videos, but like I said, guys, I really want to learn the niche of clothing. And by getting this clothing rack, I actually learned a lot. And I hope you guys did too. And I hope you guys enjoy this content and I will see you in the next video.